so it details the procedures which are necessary for obtaining the information needed to structure or to solve research problems so point to be noted here is that we have to have certain procedures identified or structured in such a way that this is going to solve certain research problems so design is the major aspect of that so this is you know the best explanation in one word explanation what we can have is this is something like a blueprint for doing research so now if you just look onto the slide see research design broadly classified into two category the first one is exploratory research design and another one is conclusive research design so exploratory research design already that i have explained it is going to explore about something so now we are going to have two broad very broad classification one is on the exploratory side and another one is to the conclusive uh, side of that so how we will be explaining about that is the general the general of research simply allow the researcher to gain gain greater understanding of something that he doesn't know enough about as i explained earlier uh, this is what exactly an exploratory research is called and is used principally to gain deeper understanding of something design is far more flexible and it is dynamic too see uh, example also that uh, that we can we can tell see if a new 100 cc bike or or even 1000 cc bike is introduced into the market you may be knowing that such an bike is in introduced but it doesn't uh, make sense that you know each and everything about that for example see uh, just because we know that plasma tv is there we just don't know uh, exactly about what it performance is what is the power consumption like what is the clarity of the picture that it is going to give you what is the clarity of sound that it is going to deliver you you don't know anything about that so if you just uh, in example very simple terms of uh, uh, explaining that if i tell you if you just go and try to have very basic primary understanding about what is the clarity strength what is the audio strength and how big it is where it can be clamped what is the price of that all these things if you are slowly going and exploring about this is the exploratory phase of that and if you want to go a bit in depth into that to the technical parameters of that and all the exploratory stage that you will be jumping to some some other stage also